Hey everyone, in today's video we're going to be reviewing the Laser Grip 800 Infrared Thermometer by E-Tech City. Stay tuned. Infrared thermometers have uses in lots of industries. Because of their ability to provide accurate non-contact temperature readings, they also bring with them a level of safety. In fact, I use a laser grip 800 myself in the Beacon Morris heater review video and I've used it to measure the catalytic converter temperature when one of my cars had a misfire. E-Tech City is based in Anaheim, California and they have offices in Germany and in China. And based on what I can tell, they've been around since 2011. To see more of their product offerings, you can check out their website at etechcity.com. So let's go over the features and specifications of the Laser Grip 800. It has a 16 to 1 distance spot ratio. We'll cover distance spot ratio a little bit later in this video so we have a little bit better understanding of what that means. This tool also uses a 9 volt battery and a standard battery should last up to about 12 hours of cumulative use. The measurement range is negative 58 degrees Fahrenheit to 1382 degrees Fahrenheit. And you can see the translation in Celsius there. The accuracy of this tool is plus or minus 2% or plus or minus 2 degrees Celsius. And the resolution is down to 0 0.1 degrees Fahrenheit or Celsius. Response time is a little less than 500 milliseconds. And this tool comes with a 30-day refund policy and a two-year warranty for personal use only. This tool is not really considered a commercial product. In the packaging for the Laser Grip 800, you get the Laser Grip 800 itself a 9 volt battery and a very detailed set of user instructions. Distance spot ratio is a very important concept to keep in mind when you're looking at purchasing one of these infrared thermometers. Not observing an infrared thermometer's distance spot ratio can lead to inaccurate and inconsistent measurements and general overall frustration. In this diagram, I'm modeling the Laser Grip 800 16 to 1 distance spot ratio. As an example, if your target is 2 inches in diameter, the maximum distance of the thermometer from that target to obtain an accurate reading is 32 inches. This figure is reached by multiplying our 16 to 1 ratio by our target spot's diameter. Basically, the further you are from your target, the wider the spot being measured, which could result in unintended surfaces being captured in the measurement and yield inaccurate results. Now, for the best results, E-Tech City recommends holding the thermometer 14.17 inches from the target, which will accurately measure a spot 0.89 inches in diameter. All right, let's take a look around the Laser Grip 800. We're going to start with the front here. We have an infrared sensor right there. That holds where the laser shot out. There's our trigger mechanism. On this side, we have a label that has some specification information. On the opposite side, we have a label that has some cautionary information. On the back, we have an LCD screen. This button here turns on the backlight for the LCD screen. This button on the left converts the temperature to Celsius. This button on the right converts the temperature to Fahrenheit. And this last button at the bottom turns the laser off and on. So it's off right now. And when you see a triangle with an asterisk in the middle on the screen, that means the laser's turned on. Okay, let's take a closer look at the display. So I press the button on the front and notice that hold showed up on the screen. So anytime the button's depressed, you see the laser out there getting a reading for us. Once I let go, hold shows up and my last temperature reading is held on the screen. The screen will stay lit for 15 seconds after releasing the button, then it will go blank to preserve the battery life. Some indicators I've yet to see are high or HI, which shows up when the temperature you're trying to read is above the range of the thermometer, or low or LO, 
when the temperature you're trying to read is below the range of the thermometer. The original 9 volt battery is still running strong at 9.1 volts after occasional use of the thermometer over the last couple years, so I'd never seen a low battery indicator show up on the display. I decided to do a little experiment in which I drained out a 9 volt battery using an incandescent light bulb and a socket. And I observed that the low battery indicator appeared when the battery's voltage decreased to 7.3 volts. The battery compartment for the thermometer is in the handle. So all you do is grasp right here. Notice there's an indent right here and on the opposite side for your fingers. Just grasp the front part of the handle and pull forward and that opens up and reveals your 9 volt battery. Let's take a look at the grip here, and even though the handle's made out of plastic, the grip has a bit of a soft texture to it. Notice the three indentations on the front for your fingers, which seem to be fairly well located. Here I've plugged in a griddle and set the temperature to 350 degrees Fahrenheit and I'm using the laser grip 800 to check the temperature of this griddle and based on the location of the griddle's coil the temperature reading seems to be fairly accurate. I decided to measure the temperature of a fluorescent light bulb in a socket. The temperature at the end of the bulb should be considerably higher than the temperature in the center of the bulb. So I'll start with a thermometer about 7 inches away from the bulb and measure the V in Sylvania. The temperature at the V in Sylvania was 129 degrees. The temperature at the center of the bulb was 99 degrees. Next, I backed the thermometer up to 14 inches from the bulb and pointed the laser at the V in Sylvania. Our reading this time was 120 degrees. The last reading I took by pointing the laser at the V in Sylvania was 28 inches from the bulb. The temperature this time was 113 degrees. So in conclusion, as we back further away from our target, the spot we were measuring increased in size, resulting in a lower temperature on our last reading. On the DIY Apprentice wrench rating scale, I'm going to give this tool a 5 out of 5. Based on the testing that we've done and also my own personal use, it seems to be fairly accurate. It's also very easy to use. It doesn't take much time to really get up to speed with this tool. Temperatures can be displayed in Celsius and Fahrenheit, which is a really nice feature. I also like the hold feature on this tool and that the temperature that's last read is held on the screen for you. And it also includes an automatic shutoff after 15 seconds, which is a true 15 seconds. In terms of durability, it seems to be very durable. I've dropped this tool many times over the last couple years and it's still functioning just fine. See the link in the description below to where you can find this product at a good price. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like and share the video and subscribe to the channel and stay tuned for future videos. Visit our website at DIYApprentice.com